Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to easily screen record on your iPhone XR device. So first things first, let's check if we have enough storage. We do this by going into settings, general and about. And you can see right here on my iPhone XR, I have 47.88 gigabytes remaining on my device. As long as you have one gig of uh, storage or more, you should be able to screen record on your iPhone XR. If you have less than a gigabyte of storage available, I recommend you delete some old photos, maybe some old games, offload some applications. Uh, this video will not cover how to do that, but it's pretty easy. I just recommend you search that on YouTube if you do not know how to do that. And once you have more than a gig of storage, then we can proceed with this tutorial. So what you want to do is inside of the settings application, uh, we need to enable screen recording. So we just want to find control center, tap on this and then you're going to scroll down until you see screen recording tap on the plus and you can see now we've just enabled screen recording how do we activate it well anywhere on your phone doesn't matter what app you're in doesn't matter if you're on the home screen you just want to activate the control center and then we have this brand new toggle the screen recording toggle if you've added a bunch of toggles on your uh, control center you might have to scroll down to find it however i haven't so i'm just going to long press on the screen recording toggle and here we are we now have the option to start screen recording we have this option for microphone if you turn on the microphone it's going to capture your microphone uh, audio so let's say you can hear me speaking right now if you have the microphone on if you're doing a commentary uh, your phone will pick up that audio however if you keep this off only uh, the iPhone's audio will be captured as long as silent mode is off. So if your silent mode is on, uh, internal audio on the phone, such as the game audio, or you're typing on the keyboard, will not be captured. So make sure if you want to capture that stuff, silent mode is off and the volume's on. It doesn't have to be high, but as long as it's on, that's the important part. And um, then we're good to go. So once we've had... Um, our silent mode on or off depending if we want to capture the internal uh, phone audio and if we want to capture our microphone audio uh, we just tap on start recording now we have a timer and this will count down and it gives you a couple of seconds to prepare and um yeah now our iphone is capturing our home screen so every single gesture every single swipe every single application you open will be recorded on the iphone screen recorder it is unrestricted to what applications will be recorded so you can see opening up music all that good stuff now one tip i will say is if you want to open up an app and you want to use it in landscape mode i recommend you start the recording while your phone is in landscape mode otherwise you're going to see the recording is done in portrait mode then when you switch to landscape mode it will look a bit buggy so what we're going to do is i've done a bit of gesturing around i guess you could call it that so to stop the screen recording you should see a red bar right here just tap on this and then stop if you don't want to stop the screen recording here or for some reason ios glitches and the red bar isn't there swipe down to activate control center and just long press on this icon and you should see the stop recording button tap on this and make sure your phone doesn't stay locked uh make sure you see this pop up then we can proceed if you lock your phone before this notification shows on your iphone the uh, screen recording will corrupt corrupt meaning you will lose all of the footage and it will uh, not be saved onto your iphone so to prevent this just stay on the home screen be patient and the screen recording should finish so once it's finished we can just go to photos and you can see here is the uh, screen recording so we'll tap on this and um yeah everything has been recorded so i've scrolled through this a bit quickly we can see all the gestures all the apps i open are now recorded however you can see uh, when i go to notes and landscape mode you can see it records like this and if i go to landscape mode you can see uh, the recording is a bit glitchy so a bit uh, a couple of tips you can do uh, to solve this is first of all we can go to edit Let's go to edit again and you see this button right here tap on this button and you can actually rotate the recording so we can rotate it to landscape mode and if you want to cut out the initial part we can just cut out the part where i'm not in notes so now the recording only shows when i'm in the notes app and we just tap on done right here and i don't know why it's not next to me and we have an option save videos new clip uh, which will essentially make a new recording and save it on your phone and then save video will override the existing recording so we'll just tap on save video's new clip like so and now you can see we actually have a landscape mode recording of the notes application so uh, you can see when i go to landscape mode it looks like this however on the old recording you can see 
when I go to notes it looks a bit glitchy but if you want to avoid the hassle you can just go into the notes app go into landscape mode and then start the screen recording so we'll go like this start recording and we'll just you know do a bit of a couple of seconds on the notes app so we'll do a new note and we will uh, do a little drawing hi smash well uh, there's not enough room but make sure you smash like this video if this is helping you out so far and then we'll just stop the recording like so make sure the notification shows up now we'll go to photos and let's have a look and you can see this recording is in uh, is fully landscape so we don't need to go to uh the length of doing any editing on the app and you can see uh everything is recorded without fail so if there's any um you know you want to remove this start recording part just make sure uh, you go into the editor tool and you can just trim at the, the beginning so just you can uh, do fine swiping by just going up like this and so we just go like that and so now the recording will start directly on the home screen uh that just makes the uh, recording more professional it's the instead of you know the viewer let's see you can upload this to youtube seeing the start of the screen recording and um yeah that's really all there is to it make sure you do have enough storage one gigs of recording will probably be enough about 15 minutes any more than that you really do need more storage it could give you 30 minutes of recording however the problem is if you don't have enough storage um the ios device doesn't give you a warning it just crashes the screen recorder so let's say you're playing a game of fortnite pubg call of duty mobile you know you've got that really good game and then the recording crashes that's going to be a bummer it happened to me a lot and so i'm just making sure you guys know about this uh so if you do want to screen record on your iphone 10r that's one important thing to keep in mind so i'll leave this video up try if it did make sure to smash like subscribe if you're brand new see you guys later Bye bye